Hello everyone, this is Ori Bloop. Uh, this is my first tutorial on uh, Game Builder Garage. Uh, in this tutorial, we will be making like a Goomba Stomp or sort of like where you jump on an enemy and it will die. Uh, then again, this is, like I said, my first uh, tutorial. So hopefully uh, this is kind of easy to follow along. Um, and hopefully some of you have been asking for this, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started. So what you're going to want to do first is we're going to be making the character. So uh, we're going to go over to the editor and uh, select objects, characters, and get our person out. Um, so this will be our character controller. And then we're going to go ahead and go into objects and then get our camera out. So this will be our uh, third person aspect to the camera. Um, you can go ahead and fidget with the camera a little bit and make it a first person camera, but um, for our case, we're going to be making it a third person. So we're going to go ahead and just connect that real quick. So uh, we obviously right now, this won't do anything because there's no inputs. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to control the person with our left stick. So we're going to go to stick movement, get this, and then get up, down. So left stick, up, down, and then left stick, left, right. And then since we are doing a jump, we're going to also have to get um, a button press for A. Uh, so we're going to go and take those on the side. I can clean this up a little bit. Just kind of make these a little bit smaller. Okay. So this, all these three right here, um, it's going to control our character. So we're going to go ahead and line up up, down with forward and backward left right with left and right and then button a will be controlling our jump so now if we go into uh the play mode uh we can see that our camera is connected to our person and that we can freely uh move our person except now we have to fix the camera and we also want a free range camera so we're going to go ahead and go back to edit mode and we're going to go ahead and fix this camera so what we're going to do is get input and for the stick movement, since we use left already for the controlling of the character, we're going to go ahead and use right stick for our um, for for our camera, basically. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take that up and down for the right stick. And then we're going to go ahead and take our left and right for the right stick. And those two should be able to, to move the camera but uh we still have it locked in our character so what we're going to do is we're going to change the offset distance so where it is located from the position of our camera um uh, from the position of our character uh we we don't use the position because basically it's already connected to our character so changing any of these won't really do much so for y we're going to go ahead and change it to 250 and then for z we're going to go ahead and change that to five and that should do it for our character. So if we go ahead and go into play mode, uh, we see now that we can move our camera left and right and up and down. So we have a full sort of uh, way to see our character. And then also if we control with our left stick, we can now move freely, even jump. And we could move it simultaneously. And it's actually quite a fluid camera. Um, but that's that for the character. Now we can go ahead and move on to our actual enemy. So let's go back into edit mode and we're gonna go ahead and go into objects. So the object that we're gonna be using is the alien. I feel like it's the right Goomba shape. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get that and scale it up just a tiny bit. So it kind of is half of our player. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the side right there. And if we go into the play mode, uh, we can see that right now it doesn't really do much. It just sort of rolls and um, it doesn't really have the attributes of, of killing us. So we're going to go ahead and go back into edit mode. And then we're going to start editing with this uh, alien. So what we want to do first is if we run into the alien, uh, we, we want to die. So basically what we're going to do is uh, this is going to be destructive towards our person and then if we go into our person uh it is destructible 
by the alien. So the alien will uh, destroy the person. So let's go back into play mode. And if we go into the alien, it should kill us. And there we go. So the alien went ahead and killed us and it is still alive. So what we're going to do now, obviously, if we jump on it right now, it won't do anything. It will still kill us. So what we're going to do now is work on the mechanic for it to, um, for it to like, we, f so we can kill it now, you know? So we're going to go ahead and go into objects. And then the best object that I found for it to work, you know, with jumping on it is a sphere. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, we're going to go ahead and kind of keep it in the uh, alien a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and turn these three off into the, uh, the settings for the object. So now if we go in the game, there's the sphere. Um, we can obviously go on top of that and it won't kill us. Uh, but what we want it to do is for it to kill the alien if we step on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into back in the settings or in the edit mode. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and connect this actually to the alien. And for the object, we're going to do uh, destructible from person. So now our person can step on it and uh, we'll basically be able to destroy it. And then we got to go back into our person and... Uh, it's destructive towards our sphere because that's where the sphere is. It's on top of the alien. And so now what it should do is if we step on that sphere, uh, we should be able to destroy it. So let's go and see. Okay, so see, there we go. So it went ahead and destroyed the sphere, but our alien is still alive. So now what we're going to do is basically we're, we're going to destroy the alien by touching the sphere. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to objects. And then go to our sensors and grab our destroyed sensor. So what this is going to do is once this sphere is destroyed, it will have an output from this destroyed sensor. And then the last part we're going to do is grab destroy object. So basically what's happening here is this sphere, once it's destroyed, it will get picked up by the destroyed sensor and then it will send an input to the destroy object and then it will kill our alien. Um, but we're going to have to go ahead and go in the settings for the destroy object and change it to alien. So we don't want those. And uh, let's go ahead and see how it looks in the game. So uh, obviously right now it looks a little bit messy because all those invisible boxes and you still see the sphere. But if we go ahead and jump on that sphere, it looks like it didn't work yet. I think I'm missing something. Let's go back into destroy object. Okay, looks like that's set up. And that is set up. Okay. And then now what you're going to want to do is go into the alien. And since right now there's nothing that could destroy the alien, uh, we're going to go ahead and go into that and put destroy object. So basically, now it should work. So let's go into play. And so now if we go ahead and land on that sphere. Oh, I didn't land on it. One second. Uh, land on that sphere. There we go. It destroyed the alien. Um, so pretty much now uh, everything works. So we can run around. You know, we can jump around. And then once we, once we see the alien, we can go ahead and jump on it. And then it gets destroyed. Um, but let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit just so that it looks a little bit uh, more fluid. So for destroy object, turn that invisible. Uh, for destroyed sensor, turn that invisible as well. And for the sphere, we have to leave it solid uh, for it to be able to pick up on some things, but we don't. it doesn't have to be visible. So let's go ahead and turn off uh, the visible aspect to it. And there we go. Um, it looks a lot more cleaner. It looks like it's just the alien. So now if you go up to it and jump right on it, there we go. It just destroyed it. Um, we can go ahead and show that again. Uh, so we got the alien right here and we're jumping around, jumping around, and then let's go up to it and, oh, and I missed it. <laughs> See, so it can still destroy you if you go up to it on its side, 
but um, if you jump directly on its head, um, you'll be able to kill it. So let me just jump right on its head, and there we go. Um, that's I'm pretty sure that's it for the tutorial. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Everything sort of works for uh, that. We can actually go ahead and, if we wanted to, we can add multiple. Let's just go into... There we go. So now we have multiple aliens all scattered right here. So let's go ahead and there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, I almost died there. And there we go. And see, there you go. So we can destroy all the aliens and they can also kill us if we go to the side. Um, so I think that's that for the tutorial. Um, if you guys have any more... Uh, tutorial ideas or if you want help on a specific thing uh, go ahead and leave a comment on this video and I'll try to respond and I'll try to uh, post as frequent as possible um, but go ahead and uh, hit me up and I'll try to make as many tutorials as possible uh, thank you all for watching and uh, have a nice day